Chaksur Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Precharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya De Satarine Vanchakaupa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasade Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare We're going through the seventh canto, chapter nine, Prahlad Maharaj offering prayers to Lord Nishringadev. Haribo, Rebano. Haribo, Rebano. What happened? I think he's attending. I'm... Good morning, one minute, I will call him. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Bread Banu, what happened? Hari Bo. Rumors, one minute, I, I will call him. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Then I was in Mara the Bullet and Bahir, Bira Banu, Bira Banu, and the Rahma. Aja Bina Musna and the online Mara Kirmara Lavanun Tony. Hello, 
हरे कृष्ण बिरजान बरु हरे बाओ I'm really sorry because of I don't want to hurt the devotees. I don't want to make them unsatisfied. That's why I leave the pass. Well, you just have to practice. Come on, you get more practice, you can improve. That is the reason I come and I come to, for service. I told already Bhagavad Dharma, I don't want to do this because I know Nepali people are such a. This kind of thing, I don't want. I don't want to involve this thing anymore. I want to be say I am doing lecture in katha in discuss in my home. I am stay with my family nicely. I don't want to this this kind of thing, Maharaji, anymore. Come on, you have to do it. There's nobody else. It's for for Krishna. Yeah, that, that, that is the reason I am coming for practice. Either I am with association with the devotees. This kind of people I don't want to associate anymore because I don't want to interrupt my devotion anymore. So you get been... get some practice here. Come on, just get some practice. You can do it. Don't worry about other people. Do it for Krishna, Prabhupada. Bhagavad Dharma says your translation. Bhagavad Dharma says your translation is good. I am sorry. Bira Dharma Prabhu, here I am. Are you born? Here I am organizer, and I I invite you for translation. Who is he? Then he complain about me to Maharaj. How dare is he? No. I am not. What, what what he told what he told me what he told me was he said that you were apologizing to people. I am no, I am saying that if I am something wrong, please you make. Oh, so that's what he said. So that's what he said. He said you. Let, let it be. Let it be. This is some mis some misunderstand. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not qualified. He is qualified. Why, why not? Why that didn't come? Why not lead uh, devotees? Why he spoiling everywhere in Phuket? He went to the position and he go and fight to the temple president. He, Are you born? He grabbed the neck of temple president. How dare is he? Are you born, Prabhu? Oh, Are you born? Sorry, Maharaj. I must leave because I'm going to be fired up. <laughs> come on, calm down. Not a big deal, Brihad Banu. It's a misunderstanding, just some misunderstanding. Okay, Maharaj, I'm, 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 I'm already give the, give the promise to Bhagavad Dharma for today, so I'm going to do for tonight. For next time, I'm sorry. Let's do it today. Okay. Okay. All right, so this is the seventh canto. Ninth chapter, Prahlad Maharaj praying to Lord Nishringa Dev. Do I need to read a, a translation? No. Ali Maharaj ne charcha kar de unni chala. Tatamaskanda adhyaya nao ko Prahlad Maharaj ji ko siksha. Right. So Prahlad Maharaj was describing how he wanted to. Uh, go and preach to people. He didn't want to just go in the mountains and think about his own self. He said, he said, wherever he goes, 
He said, I'm okay, I can always chant the holy name and I can speak about Krishna, but I'm worried about other people. So now he's going on to talk about materialistic people and, and family life. He said, there's people in family life, they have no, there's many people in family life, they have no spiritual knowledge. And they think the happiness, they think the greatest happiness is simply to have sex. But actually that sex just simply brings them so much suffering. This, this sex is, Prahlad Maharaj said, this sex is like rubbing of two hands together. When you get an itch, you have some itch, you, you, rub, you know, you scratch. So these people, these materialistic people, they're like misers. Right, miser. In, in Sanskrit they're called kripana, right? Kripana is the opposite of the brahmana. There's the brahmana and the kripana. The brahmana, brahmana is very generous person. The brahmana will give anything, it will give everything away for other people. But a miser, a kripana, he won't give anything for other people. The kripana is very selfish. He only thinks about his own pleasure, his own happiness. And, but they're never happy, although they try to be happy by material pleasures, they're never happy. So Prahlad Maharaj said, people have to learn to tolerate the, this desire for sex. Just like you have a skin disease, you have some itching in the skin, you want to scratch it. You know the mosquito bites, when the mosquito bites it's very itchy. And then you want to scratch it, but if you scratch it, then you make it poison. Then it becomes infected and then it's very bad, makes a problem for the skin, more problem. So sex desire is like that itching in the skin. So, people have to learn to tolerate this itching. People who are actually uh, in pure consciousness, who are dira, who are sober, 
they will tolerate the itching. Right. Dira, is the, this word Dira is used in the Bhagavad Gita, right? Dehino sminyata dehe komaram yovanam jara tata dehantara praktir dira statra namuyati. That the body changes from the child to the youth to the old age. But the person who is dira is not disturbed by the change. So, even if they change the body at the time of death, you give up one body, take another body. One who is dira, he's not disturbed by the change of body. So Prahlad Maharaj says, the same way we have to become tolerant, not to get disturbed by the material desires which come in the mind. So in the material world, people are very attached to satisfying the genital by having sex. And Prabhupada said, especially in the Western countries, in the Western countries, people are very attached to have sex. But this doesn't make anybody happy. They're not happy. They're more miserable than ever. And when Prabhupada was there in, the, in America in the 1960s, there were many young people who gave up everything. They gave up their home, they gave up studying, they gave up their family. But they were not able to give up sex. They became more attached to sex. So, People, th these young people, they were the greatest fools, they were stupid, they didn't know what's the real meaning of human life. So people are not educated, they don't have spiritual culture, they never got trained in the brahmachari life. Young people they don't want to be brahmachari. They don't want to get training as brahmachari. They're, even when they're very young, they want to start having, enjoy, having sex. 
तर सानो देखि नै उनीहरुलाई शरीर सम्भवको बारेबाट मात्रै जानकारी मिलेको हुन्छ र त्यही मात्रै उनीहरुले इच्छा गरेका हुन्छन् सो प्रवाद महाराज ही इज टेलिंग लॉर्ड नरसिंह देव दैट द लाइफ इज नॉट मेंट फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ फॉर दिस एक्टिविटी प्रहलाद महाराज ने नरसिंह देव लुंच जीवन यो शारीरिक संभोग को लगी हमीर मिले होनेस दिसरीरिक संभोग को व्यापार कस को पशु पशु जीवन में हो जीवन को लगी हो जिस प्रकार के सुंगुर कुत्ता बिल्ली Human life is not meant for living like the pig or the dog. Human life is meant for some austerity to control the mind and senses. मनुष्य जीवन मिले इसको लगी हो कि जो तपस्या कर मन रिया संयम करीपोलिस्फाइड कामुक व्यक्ति कहीं उन्तुष्ट हो कहीं तृप्त हो फ्रम दिस मेटेरियल डिजायर्स We have to surrender to Krishna. Ra yo hami bhautik ichha haru bada bahar niklnu ichha cha pani hamiru Krishna ko sharan ma jana padcha. So in the purport Prabhupada gives an example about Yamuna Charya who was a great king in South India. Ra South India ka Yamuna Charya bhane ekdam mahan raja ko bare bada Prabhupada ji le udaharan dinde bhande hununcha. Yamuna Charya was a, he was a guru there in Sri Rangam before Ramanuja Charya. Ramanuja Charya unu manda agadi Sri Rangam ma ki Yamuna Charya guru ji the. Before he but before he became the guru before he became a a, a very holy man and an acharya he was a king. Ra unhi guru unu manda agadi unhi ki manjo. So when he was the king, he he had you know many wives and he enjoyed a lot of sense pleasure. Kings they always have a lot of you know they have a lot of opulence. So they attract a lot of the fair, the attractive women. They want to live there with the king. So he was surrounded by all these beautiful women, and he was living as a king, and he was enjoying material life. But. But gradually, he got tired of the. He didn't find real happiness in it. He became disgusted with it, and gradually he gave it up, and he became a very holy person. But then, like, there is this case when like you, you change ma, and then so prapt hoy na, pra unni to sabey change, sabey tiag di. And then he went to live in the temple, and he became very devoted to Lord Rangana. So some, so he was serving the deity there, but sometimes he was still the mind his would remember the past that how in the past he had associated with these beautiful women. So when he would think about it, then then he would then his his lips his lips would curl, 
and he would spit because he thought, this is so disgusting, I enjoyed, he said, that was not enjoyment, he said, that was my foolishness. He said, now I am enjoying real pleasure in the service of Lord Krishna. So there was one devotee in Iskon. And he came to Prabhupada and he asked Prabhupada, he said, Prabhupada, you know, sometimes when I chant my japa, I will remember things that I was doing before I became a devotee, all the sinful things I used to do before I became a devotee. <laughs> So, so he was asking Prabhupada, why is it like this? He said, why I remember these things I was doing before I became a devotee. Now I'm a devotee and I'm chanting Hare Krishna, but Krishna still makes me think about these things I used to do in the past. Why? Prabhupada said, yes, he said, that's Krishna telling you that if you ever stop chanting Hare Krishna and if you ever give up devotional service, then you'll go back to that life again. So you have come to Krishna consciousness, now you have given up that kind of life. You have to, you're finished with it. You don't want to go back to that life again. You know, there is no happiness in that life. But there's the illusion of happiness. But that happiness, that same happiness, that is there for even the pigs which eat stool. Yeah, in, the, in the fifth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, Lord Rishabhdeva was instructing his sons. He had 100 sons. So he, he t Lord Rishabhdev told his sons, he said, don't waste a human life to just enjoy like the pigs and the dogs. The pigs, which they are, they're the, they, they eat stool, they will eat stool and they will think it's very nice. Prabhupada used to say, Prabhupada used to say to us, he said, if you offer the pig some nice halava cooked with ghee, the pig will say, no, give me some stool. So this is the fully, this is the nature of the animal, like the pig. 
And so people behave like that. They behave just like pigs. They don't know what is human life. So human life is meant for culture and character to develop good character. People don't know that they're, they're wasting their life, they're, they're reducing their life every time they engage in sexual activity. They pass, a lot, they pass semen and it reduces their life. I was distributing books in the Philippines one time and I was talking to this one lawyer. I was trying to get this lawyer to get the Bhagavad Gita and I was telling him about, you know, what happens because he asked me, he wanted to know, he said about sex, you know, he said, why, you, why, what's wrong with sex? So I told him, I said, Sex is allowed in marriage, but outside marriage is, is sinful. And I told him, I said, you know, for every drop of semen you pass, it takes 30 drops of blood to make a drop of semen. And for every drop of blood, it takes 30 mouthfuls of food to produce a drop of blood. So people who are intelligent, they will be careful to save their semen, to use it for something, for some, to produce a good child. They won't, they won't just waste their semen, because semen is like, it's like gold. And great yogis like Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati, he was a lifetime brahmachari. And because he was a lifetime brahmachari, he had very strong, very sharp memory, very strong intelligence. And he was very powerful, he could defeat all the Mayavadi and all the impersonalists. He was very strong in argument and debate. So, the Brahmachari is the, the, it's a great advantage for someone to be able to remain a Brahmachari throughout their life. 
ब्रह्मचारी जो तरीका में उन्द ब्रह्मचारी जीवन बिता एकदम पालन करना अति आवश्यक And we have also Krishna conscious grihastha brahmacharis. It means family in family life, people can also practice brahmachari life. Ra, amar ko yo antarastya Krishna maan ma mitram ma grihastha brahmachari irpani chhan jhun parivarik jivan ma basega chhan tinar lepani brahmachari jivan bitao na sakchan. Means they live with their wife and they may have sex with their wife to produce a child. Ra, just prakar le mandaru. That is religious activity. That is a, that is pleasing to Lord Krishna, and Krishna says he becomes that activity. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says that I am the sex, which is according to religious principles. Ra. ब्रह्मचारीहस्ता And Prabhupada gave the example. He said, "He said, you know, my Guru Maharaj, he sent some brahmacharis and sannyasis to Europe to preach, but they did not do very much." Ra Prabhupada ji, Prabhupada ji, Guru Maharaj, my Guru le, there is sannyasi eru, there is brahmachari eru. But he said, I Prabhupada said I sent three householder couples, and one householder couple they had their child with them, and they went to England and they did so much. By their preaching, they were able to give the holy name, the Maha Mantra, to the whole world. So he said, "I see that householders are able to do better preaching even than sannyasis and brahmacharis." Yeah, most people in the world today are are married people, and if they see people who are brahmacharis and sannyasis, they they cannot relate to it they, because they think they say, "Well, I, look, I have my family, I have my wife, I have my child. I cannot be like you." So Krishna consciousness, it doesn't matter what ashram you're in. What's important is that you should know the science of Krishna. Just like there are twelve Mahajans, so Prahlad Maharaj, he is the best of the twelve Mahajans. And Prahlad Maharaj, he also becomes a grihastha later on. After some time, he also gets married and has a wife. Prahlad Maharaj, he becomes a grihastha later on. After some time, he also gets married and has a wife. 
And we see also Lord Brahma, he has a wife, Lord Shiva has a wife. Maharaj Janak, he is a householder, he is a family man. Bali Maharaj, he is a Grihastha. Yamaraj is a Grihastha. Manu is one of the Mahajans, he's also a Grihastha. So family life is not a, a barrier to making spiritual advancement. But if we live in family life just for sense gratification, then that is not good. The proper family life is centered around Krishna. That in the home you have a you have an altar, and when you cook food, you offer it to Krishna. People, some de devotees, they would often ask Prabhupada, they, they would tell Prabhupada, Prabhupada, now I'm married, what is my duty in family life? And Prabhupada said, he said, uh, when, when you cook food, then you have to go to the door and you have to call out, if anybody is hungry, please come. Food is now ready in my house. Come and take food in my house. Prabhupada said, this is Grihastha life, that's real family life, that you invite guests to your home. And you bring guests to your home, then they will bless you, they will give you blessings, they will be very grateful, they will say, thank you so much, you cook very nice, I enjoyed your food, may Lord Krishna bless you. But the Grihamedi, the Grihamedi, he's the opposite of the Grihasta. He's also in family life, but his, the center of his family life is not Krishna. It's just sense gratification. And the, the man the man is thinking my wife is there for my sense gratification. Or the the wife is thinking my husband is there for my sense gratification. Or, and they live in the home, they keep in their home, they never have any guests come, they never invite people to their home to have prasadam. So this is not real family life, this is material life. If you live like that, then you're preparing to come back again in the material world. You have to take another birth. 
यदि तब तेरी जीवन बिता तब भगवान को धाम प्राप्त होते फिर यहाँ जन्म मृत्यु चक्र में फंसि पर्च रिमेम्बर वी हेव दिस अपर्चुनिटी वी हेव अ वेरी वैल्युबल ह्यूमन लाइफ and you're born in a very special land in the bharat varsh it's a great opportunity ra hamir le hamir ko jivan ekdam mulya cha tela hamesha yaad garnu parcha yo ekdam avsar sunaulo avsar la hamir le kaile pani vyartha jana dinu hudaina manushya jola ekdam mulya van cha yo samay ma hamla krishna bhavana prapt bhako cha ela etikai lord chai lord chai tanya used to say bharat bhumi te haila मनुष्य जन्म जात जन्म सार्थक करे करा पर उपकार इट्स वेरी रेयर टू गेट द ह्यूमन बर्थ इन भारत वर्ष वेरी स्पेशल वेरी फॉर्चुनेट जिसको भारत भूमि में जन्म हो एकदम विशेष हो भारत भूमि में जन्म पाला एकदम गाड़ो वन शुड मेक वन लाइफ परफेक्ट एंड देन ई शुड ट्राई टू हेल्प अदर्स एंड गिव कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस टू अदर्स जो व्यक्ति आपने जीवन एकदम राम ठीक बना बल उसे अरुण भगवान नाम दिन सो श्रीमद भागवतम इट डिस्क्राइब्स हाउ द डेमी गॉड्स आर ऑल वेटिंग टू टेक बर्थ इन भारत वर्ष भागवत में बताइए कि जी देवी देवता Now the demigods, they're very powerful. They're in charge of the different senses in the human body. Just like the demigods in charge of our power of smelling, there's demigods in charge of our power of speaking. There's demigods in charge of our power of seeing. Right, just a regardly, I'm a little gondolin jum. The gondolin, this ko in charge ko hota hai, Devi Devta room. Right, I'm a little dek jum. This ko in charge Devi Devta room. Is there? Jyoti bani, I'm a to sari ma aushita chhi jaro in charge. Kyu Devi Devta le? I'm la pradan karcha. The demigods also in charge of our power of hearing. And a, and a power of digestion, the power to digest the food in our belly. So the demigods have these kind of responsibilities. They're 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 very. They've got a big position in the universe. they're in the they're servants of krishna ah is to cheez haru hamro ko jivan ma avashyak parne cheez haru underu tesko ke huncha dai khana garera hamla dinchan teso na giri underu ko bahut thulo pad huncha but they want to take birth they said they said they they said when we finish our life in the heavenly planets we want to take birth on earth in bharat varsha ra hamro ko yo They want to take birth on Bharat Vars because they know if they get the birth on Bharat Vars, they can go back to Godhead from there. Rati Devi Devta Arla tha chhi ki yadi ami Bharat Bhumi ma janam prapt hoye chhavane, amiru Bhagwan Bhagat Dham. But they cannot go back directly from heaven. They have to wait until the end of Brahma's life. So the demigods say these people who are in Bharat Vars, they are the most fortunate. They're very, very lucky. Ra, jo bhakti Bharat Bhumi ma janme ka jan, unhe re ekdam bhagyavan bhakti roon, mande devi devta re sushta jan. So if if we waste this opportunity, we have this opportunity. We're very fortunate. If we waste it, we're very foolish. Ra, hamar lagi jo aur sir prapt bhago cha. 
कि हमीर भारत भूमि में जन्म यदि हमीर यह अवसर लुमाइद लाल पैसा जस्ट लाइक द मैसर He has a lot of money, but he dies. He can't take any money with him when he dies. What can he do with all the money? He wasted it all. He didn't use it. So we have the human life. We have to use it. For self-realization. Amirlay manushya jivan prapta karo jatela amirlay upayog karo paro atma sachchat kar ko lagi. Self-realization means first of all to understand we're not the body. Ra amirlay paili sarva pratham janna paro ami yo sarir hai nam. Then we have to go on and understand our relationship with Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught the goal of life is to develop love for God. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu le amle sikcha dinun jagi amar ko jivan charam laksha bhagat samandhi gyan prapto karu ne amar ko jivan ko charam laksha. We all have the we all have the ability to love. But we give our love to the dog. We love our car. We love our country, and we forget about Krishna. Amar sanga prem karne tendency mane ko ek gun cha. Yedi amile ab yedi amile ab prem karne gun cha amile prem kar cham. Yedi amile Bhagwan lai prem kar na mane kali kutta lai kali bilni lai kali pasu lai kali gai guisi agaram bhagaram itya dila prem kar cham. So one day, Prabhupada asked all the devotees. He asked them, "He said, 'How do you know Krishna exists?'" So one devotee said, "Well, Prabhupada, you told us." You told us about Krishna Prabhu, but you told us about Krishna. We believe you. So Prabhupada said, "Why you believe me? I may be cheating you. How do you know what I say is true?" So then, Prabhupada said, "So how do you know Krishna exists?" And then a, a, a young man said to Prabhupada, "He said, 'Prabhupada, we can feel him when we chant. We can feel the presence of Krishna.'" And Prabhupada said, "Ah, oh, very nice. Yes, you can feel Krishna." So we want to also feel the presence of Krishna. When we chant, when we worship Krishna, when we read the book about Krishna. So we're coming up to the. The the Gita Jayanti, the day in which Krishna spoke the Bhagavad Gita. On Saturday, that's actually on a courtesy. It's the day Krishna spoke the Bhagavad Gita.
right? That's on the 25th, the Christmas day. The same day is, is the same day as the Karasi, it's also Christmas day, and it's also very special the Karasi because Krishna speaks the Bhagavad Gita that day. So on that day, we want to read the whole Bhagavad Gita. Right? Chant every verse. Bhagavad Gita means 18 chapters, 700 slokas. So in a few hours you can chant the whole book. I hope you are all going to do that. And every day you can be chanting one chapter a day. Prabhupada actually gave the instruction. He said every day we should read one chapter Bhagavad Gita, chant the verse, chant the verses, one chapter each day. Right? If we read the 18, chap 18 chapters in 18 days, then when we finish it, then you read it again. And after you've read it six or eight or ten times, then we start to remember Bhagavad Gita. And we should always be chanting Bhagavad Gita. How many slokas do you know in the Bhagavad Gita? We should know about... Huh? What? How many slokas you know from Bhagavad Gita? That's right? Yeah. How many slokas you know Bhagavad Dharma? Bhagavad Dharma Prabhu, how many slokas you know Bhagavad Dharma? I heard this in the Prabhu. Yeah, you know Bhagavad Dharma. Uh, sometimes he, he remembers, sometimes he forgets, so two or three maybe he remembers. Oh, very less. You have to know more than that. Both okay, Guru Maharaj, I will try. Uh, yeah, you should know. Forty, fifty, sixty. You know, yada yada hi dharmasya, like that. Then there's so many verses. Dharma Kshetre, Kuru Kshetre, the first verse. You should know all these verses. There's so many famous verses in Bhagavad Gita. You have to learn them. So you sit with your family, but you get the children, your your children, Bhagavad Dharma, your children, they can also learn with you, your wife also, she can learn. You have to learn these so slokas. Every devotee, you have to be reading, you have to be learning. You should know these verses. Bhagavad Gita is ABC of the spiritual knowledge. 
जो भगवत गीता में को आध्यात्मिक ज्ञान ए बी सी हो तो प्राइमरी स्कूल यू हैव टू लर्न दिस वर्सेस यो अब हम हमर को भाषा ले बनी जब ने मूला डां मूला डां चाहो भगवत गीता को because now is now with the with the virus you know you're not doing any business shop is closed you have a lot of time you can use your time to learn all these verses ra aile sabai desh bhari virus cha khabar sanga dhyan cha pasal khuldaina samay ne samay cha adhyayan garnu hos tyam hunda you know devotees at bankek they learn they know the every day they chant shikshastikam and goswami astikam ra banke ka bhaktaru sadai shikshastikam sadgu swami astikam sadai adhyayan garchan and then many of them they also know the brahma samhita ra bhaktaru brahma samhita pani janda chan and go gopika gita gopi git pani janda chan and they know jagannath astikam जगन्नाथ Prahlad Maharaj, he's also got nice prayers here. There's some verses you can also learn. Raya, you adhyaya ma bani Prahlad Maharaj ko ekdam ramro, Bhagwan prati ko upra hata na cha. Tiyo ti silo ke la bani tapani yad karo sakman cha. When we would go for a walk in the morning with Prabhupad, morning walk, Prabhupad would go on morning walk. We would go with him, and then Prabhupad would talk, and then he would say, "What is that verse?" What is that verse? He would ask us verses if we knew the verse. Ra Prabhuji sanga amar udyan dyan 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 hinna jantyo. Tiyo tigara Prabhuji le amar lai sabhe lai sunno dyo. Tiyo tiyo silo ko tiyo adhyay ko tiyo silo kio ani sunno dyo. Tisari amar le tiyo tigara amar le tiyo adhyay ko adhyan ko ko silo lai amar le bol manu bolte. Prabhupada was training us. He said, "You have to know. You have to know these verses. You have to know what's in my books." Atesari Prabhupada ji le anlai shiksha dinu unjo ki timer le timer la thaun par jo ki mere pustak ma ki cha mere sin mali pustak ma ki ke le jo mana timer le adhyan karnu par jo mana da so dinu unjo Prabhupada ji le. Okay, so we will stop. Ask if there's any questions. Ra amle yani re aja. भारतीय संस्कृति भारत वर्ष में जन्मे भाई भारत भूमि में जन्मे भाई न भाई हमी तो स्थिति में पुग्न लारत भूमि में जन्म भक्त स्थिति में पुग्न लाई अज के अनुरोध नंद सुदास नंद सुदास प्रभु इज क्वेश्चन दैट यू हेव मेन्शन वंस हू बॉर्न इन भारत वर्ष यू हेव टू बी परो उपकार यू हेव टू बी गिव कृष्ण कॉन्शियनेस टू आदर मेक हिज लाइफ परफेक्ट so we are born in the out of bharat bhumi we are born in different country so how we can make next birth to born in bharat bhumi no you are also born in bharat bhumi maharaj banu jo tamai pani bharat bhumi mai janminu bha cha right burma burma used to be also part of bharat bharat varsh wo burma pani bharat varsh ma jan cha ha ji You're only thinking in the modern times, the modern marks, the boundary made by politicians. But in the in the time of the scriptures, in the time of the the Vyasadev writing the Bhagavatam, it was all Bharatvarsh. Raja, 
व्यासदेवले लेखेको पुस्तकमा चाहिँ जो जति पनि वर्मा एशिया छ त्यो भारतवर्ष र अहिलेको मोडर्न आधुनिक अहिलेको जो राज जो पोलिटिकमा अलग अलग विभाजन मात्रै भएको तर यो पनि भारत हुने नै हिस्सा आउँछ भन्नुहुन्छ अरु केही प्रश्न हरे कृष्ण गुरुमा जनरल प्रणाम हरे कृष्ण अरुजी अहिले हामीलाई त यो कम्प्युज भयो कि भारत भूमि भन्दा हामीले चाहिँ इन्डियालाई सोच्छौँ नि होइन हो त अलिकति क्लियर गर्दिन भन्दिनुहोस् न गर्दाखेरि सबैलाई हामी सबै श्रोतालाई क्लियर हुन्छ भागवत धर्म प्रभु इज क्वेशन दैट एभ्रीवन थट्स दैट भारत भूमि इज ओन्ली इन्डिया सो क्यान यू मेक क्लेरिफाई दैट व्हाट इज द व्हाट व्हाट सोर्ट्स व्हिच प्लेसेस आर भारत भूमि दैट्स आई वांट टू बी क्लियर Oh, the, it, it's, a, it's quite a big region. It's right across, uh, you know, India and it includes also, of course, Bangladesh and also Pakistan and also uh, part of Afghanistan and even, you know, uh, Sri Lanka and, uh, you know met met is quite a, a big area you know it's the area where the varnashram system is found that's the point that varnashram is there the effect of you know the division of the, the there's the brahman the shatri vaishya sudra so the people understand their position according to varna and ashram So that's really Bharat Vars, where that culture is there, where there's a division of the society under the creation of the Supreme Lord. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, I created these divisions. यो धर्म आश्रम धर्म पालन करेगा देश जो हो सब भारत वर्ष हूं सब ती ती देश धर्म निम धर्म को निम पालन करने देश पैल देखि हु जो अलग आधुनिक में आधुनिक हमें हालिंदन जो पैली 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 को समय देखि नहीं जो वर्ण आश्रम धर्म पालन कर देश ती सब भारत वर्ष Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Chatur Varnam Maya Shristam Guna Karma Vibhagasha. He said, I am the creator of these, these divisions of society according to guna and karma, according to qualities and work, not birth. <laughs> गुण र जो गुण र कर्मलाई मैले आफै विभाजन गर्छु जन्मलाई हैन जन्म जुनसुकै जन्मे पनि उसको कर्म अनुसारले उसको विभाजन हुन्छ एकसम टुडे वी ओन्ली थिंक जति ब्राह्मण जति ब्राह्मण बाइ बर्थ बट द रियल ब्राह्मण इज द वन हु वर्क्स लाइक अ ब्राह्मण एन्ड हैज द क्वालिटीज ऑफ द ब्राह्मण So Sanatana Goswami, he is written, he was, he was taught by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You know, Lord Chaitanya spent two months teaching Sanatana Goswami in Benares. And then Sanatana Goswami went to Vrindavan and wrote books on teachings Lord Chaitanya gave him. र चेतना महाप्रभुले सनातन गोस्वामीलाई बनारसमा दुई महिना त लाग शिक्षा दिनु भएको थियो त्यो सनातन गोस्वामी त्यानिले दुई महिना त लाग शिक्षा ग्रहण गरेर फेरि वृन्दावन फर्केर चेतना महाप्रभु शिक्षामित गरेर पुस्तक कन्ट्याक्ट गर्नुभयो सो सनातन गोस्वामी डिस्क्राइब्स ही क्वोट्स फ्रॉम द वेदास फ्रॉम द स्क्रिप्चर्स ही सेड दैट एनीबडी कैन बिकम अ ब्राह्मणा if they properly initiated and trained by the bona fide spiritual teacher sanatan goswami le yani ja 
तो पुस्तक में हमें लाइक प्रस्तुत करने वाला है कि जनाम ले है ना कर्म ले धर्म को नियम पालन करेगा जले प्रमाणिक गुरु को निर्देश में शिक्षित शिक्षित भय रा दिशा लिए रा ब्राह्मण को गुण भय सी वो ब्राह्मण बनना योग्य होन चाहे जनाम ले है ना and the, the scriptures give the example, it's just like bell metal can be made into gold by a very special process, chemical process. But who wants to be a Brahmana? Who wants to get take the training? Not not so many people. Are they will who is willing to follow, to do everything, to take the training? Just like Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati sent, he sent disciples to, to England to preach. So when they were there, they met this one very uh, aristocratic man, he was a friend of the Queen, and he asked them, what do I need to do to become a Brahmana? So they told him, four principles, no meat, fish and egg, no intoxication, no gambling, no illicit sex. And he said, impossible. Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Maharaj Le Vaka Sishar Lai England Prachar Ganavala Ki Pathanu Bha Te Dikhara Vaka Sisharu England Pugnu Bha Ra Maale Estai Pat Adhikari Vyakti Ho Sama Bhed Bhaayo Ra Ti Pat Adhikari Te Raj Parivar Ka Ara Unle Vane Ki Ma Brahman Hunne Gulai Ki Karna Parcha Vande Swade Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Ka Sishar Lai Ra Unle Ki Vane Vane Gri Madhira Pa Nisecha, Jwata Nisecha, Ra Paraya Sri Sang Nisecha, Ra Mangsahar Nisecha, Vandagri Unle Vane, Yuta Asambhav. So, Prabhupada, our own founder, Acharya, he was not born in a Brahmana family. He's not a Brahman by birth. Ra Prabhupada Ji, Iskand Ko Sanstapaka Acharya, Jasli Yo Iskand La Sthapit Gari Gu, Ma Brahman Kulma Janini Bha Ko Aina. But he is the founder Acharya for the whole of ISKCON. So birth, birth as a Brahmana family can be an advantage, but it's not enough. You have to also work like a Brahman and have the qualities of a Brahman. The Bhagavad Gita describes qualities of the Brahman. Samo damastapasocham shanti rajavam evacha jnana vijnana mastikyam brahma karma svabhavajam. Nine qualities. Right? Peacefulness, self-control, austerity. Mm. Brahmana must be truthful. Brahmana must be clean. Even in the winter time, he has to take bath. 
ठंडा में बनी हुआ हमें जा स्नान करने ही पड़ता <laughs> so brahmanas you know we need brahmanas in this society in Bharat Vars today everybody has become although it's Bharat Vars we find people all just like Sudra people don't want to cultivate the higher qualities so Bharat Vars, it's, it's a great birth, it's a great opportunity. We, you must take advantage. We see all, all the holy places are there, so many holy places. So many holy rivers and holy great mountains. Actually, the whole planet was Bharat Vars. Bharat Maharaj, he was the emperor of the world. The whole world was under his rule. But there's that very special region there, India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Burma, all of that, it's all, originally it was all one country. It was all ruled by great kings, Maharatis like Maharaj Bharat, Maharaj Janaka, Maharaj Yudhisthir, Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Sabai 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 Bhakta Maharaj Krishna, Maharaj 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 respect President the Kinlekar Bada, Ekdum Hamili, Erde Jane, Sabe, Savar Savarma, this this may Erde Jane, Sri, Ekdusrema, Gali Glocha Matre, Suna Pai Raki Kosa, Kina Hami, Esri, Prodit, Vayu Vane, Ekdusrema, Blame Gari Vane, Ekdusrema, Chamata Rakne, Yog, Yogyata, Bayana Vane, Babango Dam, Hami, Kosari Gain Chola, Rahamilai, Yata Santi Marga Kuera, Kotako Zorot Paregoki, Yata Purusetra Gomatre, Sunera Hamilet, the Prodit Paregoki, Ekdusrema, why? Amila like, Kiko Zarat Parego, Kina Egusrema Hami Bakta to Bakta, Hamila respect the Rera, Sada de Hidena Unko Prati, Raplis, your Maharaj Sama, so Dinusna Ajur Dasangaradinusna Maharaj Randavat Pranam, Savi Bakta Mapani Randavat Pranam. 
Prabhu is from Phuket and he is asking a question that uh, what we eat the way we thought is same like that. But devotees are eating a prasadam. Also they are thinking is like a negative and why they have each other quarreling each other. Why they are not uh, fooling each other. <laughs> so what is the way they become a peaceful each other? And how they can make a like a peaceful congregation? Well, we have to give up our false ego. We have to chant 16 rounds every day, 16 good rounds, avoiding offenses. We have to give, give more attention to cultivating some humility. We have to become the servant of the servant instead of trying to become the master, become the servant. We, we let Kali Yuga come into our midst and Kali Yuga makes us quarrel with each other. So because devotees are not very strict in following the rules and regulations, so Kali Yuga comes in and we start to argue with each other. And instead of trying to preach Krishna consciousness, we spend all our time arguing and fighting, quarreling with each other. So I said, every day you have to read Bhagavad Gita, one chapter. We have, we have to become a better devotee, we have to try to become, we are thinking we are a good devotee, we have to understand we are not very good devotees, we are very fallen. So we have to pray to Krishna and we have to beg the mercy of devotees, we have to offer all respects to the devotees, bow before them. Every, every day when we meet the devotees, we have to offer our obeisances. And beg forgiveness for all of our offenses. We are always thinking about what other people offense is. That, oh, that guy, he offended me, or that person, he did that offense. We should think about what we did. We should think about our own offenses. So we have to become, Lord Chaitanya said, Trinada peace in each right? Think of ourselves lower than the straw in the street. 
ఎలా చైతన్య మహాప్రభు శిక్ష చాతనుకు ఆమె జారబంధాన్ని అది నిన్న మన్న అతి అవసరం This the soul our spirit soul is 1/10000 of the tip of the hair very small in size. Na atma ekta adhyatmik ko hello bal ko agra bhag ko 10000 bhag bana aje shano cha testo cha. But we're thinking I am the body we're thinking I'm 5 foot 8 or I'm 5 foot 10 or I'm 6 feet. Na But actually we're not. That's only the body. We're not the body. We're soul. And the spirit soul is very small. So our ahankar, our ego, should be the same size as the soul. Then we should offer all respects to others. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Amanina Manadena. Offer all respects to others and don't, we don't want respect for ourselves. So when we do like that, then we can chant properly. Then we will stop all this quarreling and arguing. fighting so is it clear to that guy from phuket This final question is that if we, uh, if we correlate each other still, do we get Bhagavad Dham like Krishna about? No. You have to become the servant of the devotees. If you quarrel with the devotees, you're not serving them. You have to be you have to get the blessings of the devotees. If the devotees don't bless you to go back to Godhead, Krishna won't take you. So Prabhupada, before Prabhupada left the world, Prabhupada always got brothers, they came to see him and Prabhupada prayed to them and he begged them, he said, please forgive me for any offences I committed against you. Of course, they said, no, no, you didn't commit any offenses, they're very humble, they said, no, no, you didn't commit But Prabhupada said, you know, I said, I know, he said, I, sometimes I would preach very strongly and, and maybe I have offended you. Prabhupada <laughs> 
So Prabhupada prayed, you please forgive me for any offenses. Because very important, before we leave this world, we must not have any enemies or anybody who's got bad feelings towards us. The Madhyama Adhikari, the Madhyama Adhikari is a preacher. So the preacher, he will have friendly relationships with the devotees. He will give his love and he will offer his love and devotion to the deity of Krishna and he will make friends with the devotees. He will give mercy to the innocent people who want to know about Krishna. And he will avoid those people who are atheistic and blasphemers. He will just avoid them. He won't quarrel with them. That's not good. Quarreling, that's Kali Yuga. All right. Thank you so much. I'm fully satisfied. Good. Okay. Well, the demigods are Krishna's representatives. They're acting on his behalf, right? The demigods are not independent of Krishna. The demigods are his, Krishna's agents. Krishna doesn't do everything himself. And he has his agents, his representatives. Krishna's in, in Goloka. He's having his pastimes in Goloka. He doesn't do everything. He's not going to do everything for him. So he has his different agents that, like these demigods, 
and then his expansions and his different incarnations. He has Mahavishnu Maha to do the creation. Prabhu is saying that for this material world, they are the representative of God. In a spiritual abode, they are not representative of God. Isn't it? They are not an agent of, uh, they are no more agent in a spiritual world. What, did Prabhu, what Prabhu is saying there? In, this, in the spiritual world? Well, yeah. in the spiritual world, you have spiritual bodies, right? We're talking yeah. about the material world, material senses, material body. Thank you, Maharaj Ji. Dhanabhad Pranam, Hare Krishna. Dhanabhad Pranam, Hare Krishna. Okay. Please forgive me. Okay, thank you so much for your translation. Hare Krishna. Yeah. I'm very honored, Prabhu. As a Maharaj, I'm going to say, 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 as you mentioned, you want everyone to read Bhagavad Gita, then one devotee here making a, this donation of Bhagavad Gita. Everyone who needs a Bhagavad Gita, he would like to donate. Whoever doesn't have Bhagavad Gita books at home, please contact to Bhagavad Dharma Prabhu and he will redistribute. What language? Uh, we have Hindi and Nepali. Oh, okay. Even if they need Burmese language also, we can provide Guru Maharaj. Do you Nepal? Ajur. Hare Krishna, Sabha Bhaktar Lai. Maharaj Ji Lai Yanira, Amir Lai Anurud Karnu Vajaki, Bhagat Gita Sande, Ek Din Ko Ek Adaya Karnu. Jasku Gharma Bani Bhagat Gita Chaina. But you have to read, they have to read, they have to promise to read. Yes. And you have to start learning the slokas. You should know the slokas. I will send you the list, the main slokas you can learn. But every day one chapter. Takes only 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Maharaj 
All right. So thank you very much. So we'll see you next week. Remember next Karasi, Sat next Karasi. I think Saturday, twenty fifth. You have to read the whole Bhagavad Gita. Yes, Maharaj. Yes, we'll read it. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Srila Prabhupada Ki. Yes. Gaur Bhakti Vrinda Ki. We thank Great Banu Prabhu for his translation. We thank Bhagavad Dharma for organizing. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj.